It's about teaching us to really dig in to the Word, really want to understand it for our own lives. Not just about what we can get out of health, not just what we can get out of the prevention of disease, but how to really have a relationship with who God really is in our life, what He should be in our life. That's a Be in Health conference. They really do help us understand, for our own lives, the connection between relationships, specifically broken relationships, and disease. You're willing and ready to change. That's what produces a strength in the relationship between you and God, the relationships you have with others, and in your own heart. And that's where that health and that's where that hope will show forth. conversation with somebody this morning and I like to pick with people's thinking is that how many of you now I'm going to just have some fun with you how many of you are, are sure that you heard this taught in your churches somewhere sometime that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus how many have heard that taught that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus do you know there's not one scripture that says that in the Bible Not the way it just quoted. Now think with me. Come let us reason together. Tell your sacred cows to calm down. I learned something about sacred, sacred cows years ago. Either feed them or have a barbecue. And God loves a good barbecue. Man, he loves a good barbecue. Because the smell of it would come up to his nostrils as a sweet-smelling savor. Did you ever read that? I don't know what vegetarians are going to do with that scripture, but. <laughs> now, the scripture does not say that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It says, as a work of the Holy Spirit, once you got born again, that you might be made. That might be made as a present progressive tense. The church doesn't understand progressive, progressive, present progressive tense thinking. It's slight switch. Boop, boom. In between, I went from here, I went to here. Metamorphosis without change. You're not that good. You're all a little slow. Me included. Are you not all a little bit slow? That's why God knows you're slow. Do you know God knows that you're slow? And he's made a provision for slow thinking people. That hopefully eventually you'll get it. Say, so how do you know that? The Bible. Where? So it says this. God said, here's how I teach my people. And I want you to open your hearts to knowledge now. Here's how I teach my people, line upon line, line upon line, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. You say, that's redundant. No, that's how you deal with slow-thinking people. Can I give you a statistic? For all you fast-thinking people, this is coming right out of research. You have, would have had to read, seen, or heard something in its entirety six times just to retain 25% of what you read or heard or observed. What you're going to do with that statistic, those of you who drive the interstate of Christianity at 90 miles an hour. We're so busy, we forgot to stop and learn.
Are you tracking with me? I hope so. In Titus chapter 2, in fact, I might just want to go here to Titus chapter 2, because if it's in the Bible and I read it, you might think it's true. I may be into some apologetics right now. Just indulge me, I'll get over it. But I think you need to learn apologetics. Because it's important that you be able to have an answer to give to people around you. And without apologetics, you have a duh for an answer. So we've got to go from duh to something intelligent that might be said. Since faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God, then I think that anything that we believe in the faith that we have should be based on the knowledge of God's Word. But people aren't reading the Word. Christians are not reading the Word. Here's another statistic. The average person that goes to a church service in America on Sunday morning. Now, I don't do these surveys. I'm just giving you the results. The average person that goes to a church on Sunday morning in America will re forget even the subject matter within one half hour of leaving the building. And when asked, what did he teach on? I don't know, but it was sure good. That's a disconnect, would you agree? Because the Word of God says you're to be a workman. There's that word workman. That needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. If you're going to prevent the works of the enemy, you must know the mind of God. Because even Jesus skillfully defeated the devil with a simple, for it is written. Because the enemy had come with Scripture from Deuteronomy and Psalms. You know your enemy knows the Bible better than you? Well, he was quoting it 2,000 years ago. He said a couple thousand more years to learn more than what you don't know. But Jesus knew the word, and he simply said, yes, but this is what it really says. If you've enjoyed this segment of this conference, I encourage you to join our Overcomers community. There, you can partake in a whole lot more stuff and watch the rest of this conference.